Do a quick, let's do a quick intro, y'all. Who's gonna go first? You go, there you go. Fresh back. You remember what to do? You remember what to do, right? Okay, cool. So I'm out done. Nice, 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 nice. What's your, what's your business? Um, this is so funny. Currently in progress. Currently in progress. Good, 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 good. Who next? There you go. Fresh back. You gotta take a message. Just put it down a little bit so they can hear you. They can't hear you, though, Zay. You started to float. Started to float? Like what kind of float? Like floating in the water? Okay. How old are you? Six years old. Six years old. What's your business? Um, nothing. Nothing yet? You gonna partner with your sister on the on this on the soap? Good. Oh, he likes cars. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Cool, cool, cool. Who next? Who next? Nice. How do you? How do you? Seventeen. Seventeen. What school you go to? Tri City. Tri City. Cool. 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 What's your principal say? Uh, she got to get back to me. She said, you know. Cool. You shot your shot though, right? Yeah, I shot the shot. There you go. Cool. You shot the shot though. That's what it is. You know what I'm saying? Who next? There we go. My name is Bay. I'm 16 years old. I go to Evolve and Home Only. My, my business is Miss Guy. It's the art business. And my biggest accomplishment this week was getting a lot of prints and cards. Nice, 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 nice. Who next? Gentry don't even make eye contact. She don't you look up and be like, Gentry, go. She just like, Who that? MJ, go. You didn't go last week. Come on, let's go. Come on, man. Let's go and do it. Come on. But yeah, we, we, we taking too much time on this part. Come on. I want to go. I got you. Let me hold this way. I got you. You let Toad stand up with you if you want to. Young Wealthy Genius, and my biggest thing is that I learned how to print. Yeah. Simple and easy, right? Simple and easy. I'm Nah, you can't go for them. Nah. What's up? Come on. What's up? Come on, Young King. Come on, Boomer. Come on, Boomer. Come on, Boomer. Come on. Come on. She can't go for you. How old are you? How old are you? Eight years old. What school you go to? What school you go to? What school you go to? Okay. And what's your business? Coloring. What is it? Coloring shoes. Coloring shoes? Tell us the name. We want to buy something from you. Don't you want to make some money? You don't want to make no money? You don't want to make no money? <laughs> okay, we're going we're gonna to star you out this time. Give me a hand, give me a hand, give me a hand, give me a hand. It's better, it's better, better. Who next? My name is Jay Swanto. I'm 12. I'm homeschooled. And my biggest accomplishment this week is just building a bike. Building a bike? 
Nice. Impressive. 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 Hello. Nothing about stops? Good, 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 good. Hello, well, bro. You take, tell me your name one time? Jalen. Jalen. Jalen, we got a lot of Jalen's on. Three. Uh, my name is Jamari. I joined 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 Y'all got a graphic design class? Not, not, not in Dutchtown. We go to a separate school. We go to the academy over there instead. And they got graphic design school. That's dope. Cool, cool. And you said J Jamari. Jamari and Jalen. Jamari and Jalen. Jamari. Cool. Who next? Who gonna call? All right. Cool. Let's do it. Ready, Ken? We ready? All right. So. We're going to do it a little bit different this time. So, everybody, was who was here last week? Who wasn't here last week? All right, cool. So, let's do a quick recap. So, the foundation of the class is what, y'all? Huh? Seven pillars of what? Not just a business. Seven pillars of what? A million dollar business. Right? Like, why even build a business if you ain't going to at least make a million? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Make that make sense, y'all? Yeah. At least. At least a million. Make sense? Y'all yeah. know what percent of businesses get to a million? Almost three. Mm -mm. Ten? Six? Four. I was close. She was. She was very close. Four percent of businesses get to a million. Guess how many percent of black businesses get to a million? I don't even know. Probably like point four. But y'all gonna be in that number, right? So, seven pillars. What's number one? What? Huh? She can do it. Right mindset. The right mindset. What's number two, Soleil? Huh? The right, right product? Cool. The right product. We're doing a recap for all the, all the people who weren't here last week, so y'all make sure y'all locking this in. And then we got a whole members area to break all this down, too. Day, which was number three? The right client. The right client. Look at you. Came in here last week, first class. Come back in here next week, answering questions. I don't know what I'm talking about. MJ, what's up, number four? Right marketing. Are oh, you had the notes for real, huh? Mm -hmm. All right, marketing. What's number five? Me? The business plan. The right business plan? Sound about right to me. The right business plan. What's number six? Okay. Right systems. Is number six the right system? Number seven is the right system. Mm -hmm. Right marketing plan. And then the right, then the right systems. Marketing. <coughs> like y'all. Marketing plan and strategy the same thing? Is the right marketing plan and the right strategy the same thing? Um, so what? It falls upon it. So, is this, so, is it, should it be, so marketing strategy goes upon the marketing plan. Okay, cool. Number seven is the right, what we said? System. System. Right systems. So let's go backwards. What's the, what's the right systems you got to have? MJ, what's one of the right systems? What's the top one? What's the first one? Marketing. Marketing? Cool. So marketing. What's the second system you got to have? Sales. Sales. And then what's the third system you got to have? Delivery. Delivery. Does it make sense, everybody? Y'all with me, Jamar and Jalen? Everybody with me? Boomer, you good? Good. Everybody good? 
Huh? Yeah, go ahead, bro. Can you get that? You need me to turn it a little bit. All right. And then what's the right? Let's do the right marketing plan. We're going to go backwards. What's the right marketing plan? Move your product in seconds. Yeah. What's the, so the marketing plan, what's the marketing plan? On, uh, so everybody be on the same page. The mar is it only three? Yeah. I don't know. You tell me. What is it? Hold on. Your website? Your platform. The platform? Mm -hmm. When you say the platform, what that mean? What, what you're going to post on. Which social media platform you're going to post on, right? And then number three is the posting strategy. How many times we suggest posting a day? Three to five. Three to five. five. There you go. Five. five. Because you never make your minimums your maximums. What, you know what I mean? What if you put all of them on your story? That means all of them only got about like an hour. You got 24 hours. Why is it a day for this? Why would you have like, to answer forever? I don't know. You got to ask them. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what does make never make your minimums your maximums mean? Never go for less. Don't go for less. So if I say three to five times per day, you should do how many? Five or at least four. four. Or at least what? Uh, five. Right. Because everybody else going to do how many? Five to ten. Everybody else going to do three. Five to seven. Mm -hmm. Or you can do five to seven. And then when I say the platforms, we said the social media platform, right? Which social media platform y'all most active on? YouTube. Hmm? YouTube. Instagram. YouTube. 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 Y'all on social media? Which one? Instagram. Instagram? YouTube. YouTube. Instagram. 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 Hey, you all love you on all of them. TikTok. TikTok. Mm. Which one? You know me? Okay, say no more. Which one? Instagram. Oh, yes. Instagram. Cool. So like, what you want? Any? Okay, cool. Listen, for y'all who ain't on social media, don't go home and be like, my quest, I need to be on social media. Talk to your parents first. <laughs> Make sure your parents approve your social media. All right? Your website, what, what, what options we talked about with your website? Um, Ms. TC, what's going on? How you doing? We got some options for your website. What do we say? Oh, Wix. Wix was one. Shopify. And then we do another one. What was it, Wix and Shopify? Uh, what was it called? I think it was three, two. Yep, WordPress. WordPress is a good one too. What is WordPress? You gotta look it up. That's part of your homework. You gotta look it up. I only have a school computer. Why would I run it? Why would I run it? Anybody else? Was it another one? Hmm? It's a Wix, Shopify, or WordPress. You have said like, like, like what you're going to sell? You said Not for the website. Etsy is good. Who? Etsy. Etsy? Etsy. Okay, cool. Etsy. So just pick one. Y'all just pick, figure out which one you, gonna, you like. Oh, it was GoDaddy. GoDaddy, that's what it was, because you, you can do websites on GoDaddy, too. I thought it was Fiverr. You can use Fiverr for something, but it ain't a website. I Fiverr. All right. That don't mean it's right. All right, so the marketing plan. Then the business plan. Let's do the business plan. Everybody with me? We going too fast? I got the business. Y'all good? Right. You good, Jamar? Yeah, about Everybody, here. okay. Seven for the business. Y'all, what y'all need? Y'all good? What is the one at the bottom? Right here? Posting, Posting strategy, yeah. My, my handwriting kind of bad. I don't see that. I write like a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> got it? <laughs> They say you write like a doctor, too. Go ahead, bro. And then all this in the memes area. Did I give y'all the link to the memes area last week? Mm -hmm. I get y'all. So I'm good, because like I said, I see a lot of people who was here last week ain't back this week. So I'm glad I didn't get a website last week, because then they would have got the website and didn't come back this week. So I got y'all. I think I'm going to start making a rule that like you got to show up at least twice to get the website. Maybe three times. Probably the thing about every time I write. Once you hit two, three, three times, that's about right. What y'all think? 
three times, and then you get the website. Hmm? You been here since the beginning? So you what? You what? You got it. Have you logged in? That was the question. Oh, okay. Okay. You got it, bro? All right. The business plan. Huh? You want to? All right. What's number one? Business name. Business name. Do everybody got their business name? Who don't got their business name? Okay, we'll get your business name. Who else don't? Good. Two. What is the problem you solve? The problem you solve. Three. Product. Okay, product. Four. Price. Price. Five. Profit margin. Profit margin. Ideal client. Ideal client. And then seven. The marketing strategy. Marketing strategy. And we just did the marketing strategy, right? Mm -hmm. Oops, oops, oops. Strategy. All right. You need to get that? You can read it? All right. All right, cool. So we're working backwards. Good? Good. Okay, cool. All right, right system, right marketing plan, right business plan. So what does the right marketing do? Well, let's start from, let's go from the top. The right mindset. So what's, what does is, what is having the right mindset mean? Having the what? Having the right habits. So like we, have, we got the 11 habits of millionaire entrepreneurs, right? What's one of the habits? See, if, who know one of the habits of millionaire entrepreneurs? What's one? Say one more time. They play the long game. Who else? Value your time. They have a vision. Say one more time. They invest, invest in themselves. What else? They keep squares out their circle. Say one more time. They focus on they focus on solving problems. Cool. What else? They consistent. Cool. Progress over perfection. You looking for your pen? It's right there. They manage their money. And they understand books are the cheat code to life. Give her a hand. Like, I promise don't come in here to play, y'all. She don't come in here to play. So what's the money, uh, money management strategy they use? Huh? Mm -mm. Anybody know? The money management strategy. Never spend it. Never spend the whole dollar. And then what's the what's the breakdown? Save. Yeah, plus part of it. Don't nobody know that? Okay. Got it. I gotta know that. So it's 10, 30, 30, 30. I remember that? 10, 30, 30, 30. 10 go to tithes. 10 go to ties. 30 go to investment. Uh huh. 30 goes to your business. And 30 goes to yourself. Make sense? And it's best to start doing this when? Now. Because if you, if you don't do it now, when you get a lot of money, you ain't going to do it. Make sense? It's a whole lot harder to tile off a million than it is to tile off 10. Make sense? Y'all with me? Any questions? Y'all quiet. Can you call them multiple? 10, 30, 30, 30. Tell me what they mean, how they break down. So 10 is tithes, tithes. 30 is investing. The other 30 is back into your business. And then the last 30 is to yourself. So you keep 30% in your pocket 
and then you break the rest up. What's up, bro? So 30, you keep in your pocket, and then you break up the rest. Make sense? People who spend the whole dollar, they, they always be what? Y'all got them, y'all know them folks? Yeah. Ain't none of them ain't him, but y'all know them folks though, right? The 10, 30, 30. Yep, the 10, 30, 30. Absolutely, I got you. So 10 is ties, 30 is investing. Even if you like, I, ain't, I don't know how to invest right now, that's cool. You just start putting it to the side, and as you learn, then you can start taking that and investing. I know man Jalen said you learned about stocks earlier, right? So now you start playing with the stocks a little bit, playing with, you know, and then you just learn. And then 30 is business, investing into your business. You might say, oh, I ain't enough yet. But then you start putting it to the side for your business as it grow. And then the last 30 is to yourself. You keep 30 in your pocket. So you live off how much your income? 30. 30. And now you use the rest of this to grow. Make sense? And let me see if y'all was here. Let me see if y'all caught some laughs. What's the strategy I told you? What's the money rule we talked about last week? To show you how to grow your how to grow your money at what rate? The rule of seventy-two. You remember? Yeah. Can you, you can you teach it? No. You can. No. Okay, come tell everybody what the rule of seventy-two is. Who know what the rule of seventy-two is? Who don't know what the rule of seventy-two is? All right, cool. We're gonna get y'all right. It's okay. You, you want to write it on the wall? Or you mean write it? You going to write it? How you want to do it? Um, you want to come write it? Yeah. Go ahead. Take your time. Take your time. You ready? Go ahead. Uh-oh. I got you. I got you. All right. Go ahead. Huh? The rule is just start from the top. Um, What's up? How you doing? Good. Now you know about the rule of 72, don't you? You don't? Wow. Yeah, so that shows, so it showed, so that's the best on your, um, your rate of return, like how much you get on your money. Mm -hmm. So basically, that shows you how long it's going to take you for your money to double. For your money to double. So it'll take you 36 years. At 2%, it's going to take 36 years for your money to double. So basically, so the rule of 72 show you like how long it's gonna take you to for your money to double. So if you if in the bank, because most people tell you, you go get like a CD at the bank, right? If you get a CD, they call it a um what's the thing called? Certificate of deposit or something like that. So you get like two percent on your money. So you get two percent on your money. The rule of 72 show you that it takes 36 years for your money to double. So if you put a thousand in a CD, in 36 years, you had 2,000. <laughs> so in this CD, it will take 36 years to double? For your money to double, right. Or, let's so say... What's the point of getting it? Exactly. That's the point of this lesson. So, or, let's say you get a stock, and let's say you get 5% on your money. it take you, like, what's that, 14 years for your money to double. Make sense? Or... You figure out how to get 25% on your money. It'll take you like 2.8 years for your money to double. Make sense? Questions? So, anybody know how to get 25% on their money? Where can you invest your money and get 25%? Anybody? Do y'all believe it's people that's getting 25% on their money? Go work for three. <laughs> <laughs> invest for yourself. 
Invest in yourself. It's the only way. Make sense? There are, it's people who get 25% on their money every month. Make sense? But don't, most people don't teach it. But the best way to get like an immediate big return on your money is investing into yourself and then your what? And in your business. Make sense? Because if you, let's, so let's give an example. Let's say, let's say you do a shirt business. <clears throat> let's say you got $1,000. And let's say it costs you about how much per print shirts? Oh, like seven. Seven would print every, the whole nine, right? So let's say it costs you seven. So you would get how many shirts we can get for that? So we get one, seven, three, right now, four, 28, two, right now, what's that, two? So let's say you get, a, you get what, 142 shirts? Yeah, So 142 shirts. And then you sell them for how much? Let's say you, let's say you sell them for 30. What's 140 times 30? Four thousand two hundred and sixty. What's that return? On a thousand? Yeah. Uh, that's, about oh, that's like three hundred percent. Huh? Like four hundred percent, right? You with me? Yeah. Does it make sense? So let's say you did this every thirty days. Now you got what on your money? Your money ain't just double, it what? Quadruple. Quadruple. And then let's say you go run that play again. So you're like, okay, I got 4,000. Let's say you ran the 10, 10. So let's say you put 426 in ties. So now you got, you know, the difference. Then you put 30, 30, and you split the rest up, 30, 30, 30. Now you take that, you go run that same play over and over and over and over again. Now you keep getting four hundred percent of your money. Make sense? Because if you get, let's say, so let's make this real so I can show y'all this. So forty-two sixty minus, let's say you do four twenty-six in your tie. So you got thirty-eight thirty-four. You divide that by three. So that means you got twelve seventy-eight to invest. Twelve seventy-eight you put back into you you put back into the business. And then you got twelve seventy eight in your pocket. Make sense? And then you go run this play again. You like, okay, I'm gonna go get me a, I'm gonna go spend this whole twelve seventy eight and run this play again. So now you got twelve seventy eight divided by seven. So you get one hundred and eighty two shirts times thirty. Now you made five thousand four hundred and seventy seven dollars. It's done get real crazy real fast. Make sense? And you only started with this. But let's say you you started with um, 1000 But let's say you be like, that's crazy, Mark. Where would we get $1,000 from? That's cool. Let's say you just had 100 Seven shirt, seven dollars a shirt. What's that? 100 divided by seven. So you get 14 shirts times 30. What's that? 30 times, well, I can go ahead. Right times 30. So that's 428. That's still a what? 400%. Still 400%. And then you be like, all right. Hold on. Then you say, okay, cool. I'm going to put 43 in my tie, so I got 385. And then you divide that by 3, so you got 128. So you got 128 invest, 128 in your biz, and then 128 in your pocket. And then you'd be like, guess what? You'd be like, okay, cool. I don't really got nowhere else to go invest this 128 that's going to give me the same ROI on my business. So what you do with that 128? Put it back in the business. So you're like, okay, I got 256 now. What's up, bro? So you got 256 divided by seven. Now you're going to get 36 shirts. It's magic. Does it make sense? And you just started with 100. Oh, you might be like, well, Marco, I don't got 100. I just got 25. You just run the same play. Does it make sense, y'all? Y'all with me? This is how you build this up. Questions? Did I go too fast? Did I lose y'all in the mouth? How much was you 
I don't know you gotta have to do that. <laughs> How much Louis sell for them t-shirts, Vasily? <laughs> what you about to say? What's up, Malcolm? What you about to say? No, nah, it's already included. I was gonna ask, what about all of the, I guess, like marketing expenses and other operating costs that go into it? But if you're putting that 128 back into it, the other business on top of the 128 that you already agreed on, though. Mm-hmm. Yep. And especially if you if you just use social media, let's say you use social media just to post, right? Or you just get out here and get, you know, you can get out here and move around a little bit. Like well, that's why in the beginning when I'd be like, hey, y'all introduce yourselves. That's the perfect opportunity to pitch your business. Like if don't nobody know you in business, ain't nobody gonna buy nothing. You don't gotta worry about nobody buying nothing. If you especially if you're scared to speak in front of your peers, like we all in here together, you go out here, people who got cash, you gotta be willing to ask for the money. Make sense? And while y'all young, like all of y'all are, this is a great time to like start breaking out of that. Because there's a lot of adults who can't grow a business because what? They're afraid. afraid to what? Talk to, people. Talk to people. Why? Because when they was little, when they was little, Vaughn, when they was little, what? Their parents told them what? Uh-uh. Be quiet. And what else? Go on people. What else? What's a big one? Don't talk to strangers. Don't talk to strangers. And so when you grow up and you 20, 30, 40, 50 years old, you're trying to grow a business, you still like, mama said don't talk to strangers. And don't take what from strangers? Money. So now you a whole adult and you still got that same programming. Trauma. Make sense? Straight up, this is real. I see it all the time. Whole adults be like, I can't ask for money. Mama, they ain't saying my mama said don't talk to strangers, but they just got that programming. And that programming is a powerful thing. Makes sense? You don't even realize it. What does it mean? It's like how, how, whatever you were told when you were young. You still follow it. Yeah, unless you break that cycle. Make sense? You do? I hope. It looked like it. I think. I'm still breaking it, though. I'm still breaking it. Y'all with me? This helpful? All right. So one last thing, and then I'm gonna get out y'all. I got some a double header for y'all, which I think y'all gonna. I know y'all gonna really enjoy. So we talked about building wealth, right? What it, what is wealth? Money. That's one type of wealth. Kindness. So, huh? Purpose. So let's talk about it. So it's five forms of wealth. So we said money. Money is one, right? Let me tell you something crazy. Money is the what? The, the lowest form of wealth. Kind. Huh? Kind. So what's another form of wealth? Social wealth. What's social wealth? Money Relationships. Money you can get from strangers? Uh-uh. <laughs> your connections, your relationships. Relationships more valuable than what? Marriage. Money. You can get married too. How many? How many people? How many y'all know people who messed up solid relationships over some money? Me. No, none of y'all haven't. But y'all know some people who have, though, right? Me. You have. <laughs> Bobby, <God. laughs> <laughs> yeah, does it get what I'm saying? Nothing is more valuable than relationships. That's a whole nother level. What's another form of wealth? Huh? Property, I'll put property in the money column though. What else? Uh, well, intellectual property. Yeah, somebody said knowledge. Knowledge, it, yeah, it is. Uh, it is. But physical. Who said money? Physical wealth. Now, who said money? Um, I forgot who said it. You, th you said money. Spiritual wealth. Spiritual wealth. So, what's physical wealth? When you get money. Huh? Your health. Your health. <laughs> like, who cares if you make a whole lot of money and you, and you, and you ain't healthy? You don't need to live to enjoy it. Make sense? Y'all with me? Four, spiritual wealth. What does that mean? Your relationship with God. Make sense? Way more valuable than money. Make sense? This creates money. This creates money. This creates money. Money the lowest form of wealth. How? Because it is. Because if you got these intact, you always make money. You can't, you can't buy nothing with this. You, it'll create money. Money comes from this. Make sense? 
How many, so I'm gonna give you an example. How many of you all have made money based on your relationship with me? You see what I'm saying? And it's, that's like a quarter of the room, third of the room. Y'all stick around long enough. Y'all hands will be up too. Just on a relationship. Make sense? That was it. Physical. Like you got to be in shape. What you eat in, how much water you drink. How many of y'all drunk some water today? Cool. Who haven't drunk no water today? Got to get y'all on some water. I'm telling you. It's a game changer. How many of y'all eat some fruit today? Like some real fruit. I ate orange, but orange. What you say? No, I mean like ate a real fruit. <laughs> like a real like fruit. Fruit. You still sipping on that. How many of y'all like had some fruit today? Orange. How many of y'all had like some greens today? Hey, you're getting less and less hands. I'm telling y'all, how many y'all, how many of y'all have heard high blood pressure running in my family? How many of y'all heard that before? How many of y'all heard diabetes running my family? How many of y'all heard cancer running my family? Cancer. How many of y'all believe those things running your family? None of that stuff don't run in your family. What is high blood pressure? Just different diseases that black folks typically die for. It running your diet. The diet, your, the diet running your family. The eating habits. Make sense? Huh? Love? It can. Do love running your family? It can, right? All right. Spiritual, physical, social, financial. Emotional. Emotional. So we'll call this emotional and mental. Make sense? This is super powerful. Especially for our young kings. We, we, we ain't talking nothing about this. We just taught to be tough. Hold it in. Don't cry. Don't talk about your feelings. Y'all know what I'm talking about? And you explode. Then you end up on Rice Street because you've been holding something. Since <laughs> straight up. Because you've been holding something since you were five. You mad at Pops because he wasn't around. So the first dude try to tell you something, you go off on him and beat him because you, cause like, you angry at your dad mm -hmm. who you ain't never seen before. What, what do you Make sense? I'm just, I ain't talking about me. I'm just talking about in general. I see everybody like, like, like I know exactly what I'm talking about, right? Like, this is what we, this is a thing. Like, they don't teach you emotional intelligence in school. And the crazy thing is, like, we're taught to control our, so like, I used to be like, I'm good at controlling my emotions. So in reality, you ain't even supposed to control your emotions. You're you supposed to control your, the reaction to your emotions. Nobody, you control your reactions to your emotions. Make sense? I had to learn that through therapy. Ain't nobody they ain't teach that in school neither. Well, how do your emotions change? It depends on how you so like for example, if somebody step on your shoe, so let's say somebody step on your shoe, or somebody say something bad about you, or anybody. You could get you can get mad and swing, or you can be like, let me get 90 seconds. And then respond after 90 seconds. And then decide how you're gonna respond. Well, most of us, we just respond on the, on the, on the like, a flip. I'll, I'm swinging off the top. I'll swing. You, you see? This make, make, make sense? Make sense? So emotional and mental wealth. Make sense? So you want to make sure we make sure we build in wealth in all these areas. Money easy. Mental wealth. What's mental wealth? Uh, what goes on in your mind. What goes on in your mind. Having a sound mind. How do you how do you manage what goes on in your mind? By controlling your eye gate and your ear gate. By controlling your eye gate and your ear gate. What, what does that mean? Uh, be careful what you intake. Um, be careful what you let intake. Mm -hmm. Because whatever enters your eyes or ears enters your heart. Mm -hmm. Make sense? Mm -hmm. What kind of voices are you listening to right. from other people? And guess what? What's the most important voice? What you saying to yourself. Make sense? We be bullying ourselves. 
Y'all with me? Any questions? Any questions? All right, cool, cool, cool. All right, so two quick things. Let me see who we are. I think we perfect on time. Yep, we perfect on time. All right, cool. So here's what we're going to do, y'all. Any questions? Y'all don't got no questions? Y'all be worrying me when y'all don't got questions. What you got? So what are you trying to do, though? You know how you say you trying to start with 5 or 100. What are you trying to do, though? Great question. I was waiting for somebody to ask me that. So you starting with $0, and you want to make what? Money. Does it take money to make money? Does it? No. It doesn't? When, do, when does it? It's either it does or it doesn't. Does it take money to make money or it doesn't? It no. Hold on. Who believes it takes money to make money? Raise your hand high if you... Raise your hand high. It's okay. Okay. Who believes it doesn't take money to make money? Hold on, hold on. Who believes it doesn't take money to make money? Okay. So what does it take to make money? Huh? Relationships? An idea? And, huh? Effort. What else? Huh? Creativity. What else? Purpose. Purpose. Guess what else? A problem. A, a solution to a problem. You don't need no money to have a solution to a problem. Make sense? You can go knock on somebody's door and be like, hey, like y'all grass got kind of high. I know y'all be busy. Can I knock your grass out? Cool. Can, we, can I use y'all lawnmower? <laughs> like, let's be real. Y'all ain't never cut nobody yard with their lawnmower and got paid? You, said, you know what I'm talking about? I know I did. I mean, you can go knock in somebody's door and they'll be like, I got mad respect for him. I done cut people's yard with their lawnmower. It don't take nothing but a few yards. Now you up. Wait. $25, cut two yards, 50 Now you run this play. What else can you do? What, else, what other problem can you solve? Let's say you're good at school and you, you're, you're, you help, you, you're a tutor. You tutor somebody. You don't need no money. Right? Hey, can I, tutor, can I tutor your kids? Your kids need a tutor? What else? Think about it. What else, what else can you do? What, else, what other problem can you solve? Clean out people's house. Clean out somebody's house. Wash somebody's car. What is it? Wash their pets. Walk their dogs. Wash their kids. What else? Sweep up their dog poop. Therapy sessions. That don't cost you no money. What else? Make signs. Make signs. Order. Babysit. Try to get hired at Amazon. You can try to get hired at Amazon if you want to. Bingo. Y'all get what I'm saying? So do it really take money to make money? It take a problem, a solution to a problem. This makes sense? What other questions y'all got? Did I answer your question, bro? What other questions y'all got? Y'all be worrying me when y'all don't got questions. Is, this, is, this, am I, is it that thorough? Huh? And here's the thing. Let me say this. Go ahead, Jojo. Okay. Corporate what now? Corporate books. Corporate record books. What do you mean by that? Like, you know how um, most businesses have corporate record books, like things that keep their legal stuff in order, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. and like books, right? Right. Yeah. Things that keep their legal stuff in order and things that, um, like, say for instance, anybody going to take classes, anything that you get certified in just in result of somebody. You know, as you grow as a business owner, your goal is to grow past being a million. Mm -hmm. So they were saying like the corporate record book is designed, you know, for business goals mm -hmm. and more problems sometimes that you do have as a business owner. So the corporate record books is designed to um, save you when you go to court. Mm -hmm. So they were like the corporate record book is designed to keep like all your bookkeeping, right, right, right. Your IRS stuff, income taxes, all that kind of Basically just like records, keeping like, records. Keep yeah, yeah, records. definitely. Right. Okay. Definitely want to do that. Even when you result into hiring employees and mm -hmm. income taxes and you know, all that. Yeah, have everybody sign agreements. Right, the whole nine yards. One hundred percent. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. What other questions y'all got? If your business is a service more than like a product, what would you encourage more attention? Like marketing or like as far as like I'm not selling shirts. Mm -hmm. I'm just providing service like as a business. Okay. Or 
You said market and or what? More. Which, more? Got it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So you're saying would it make more sense to invest in the market and growing that business or like some other kind of investment? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I would focus on invest because like how much on average a new client worth to you? Like how much on average? Like on, on the high end? Like 150, right? And how many heads can you do a day? Five. Five a day? And how many days per week you do hair? Five. Five days a week? So that's what? Five, so what's that? 750 times five? So what's that? Yeah, what's that? Thirty-seven fifty, right? I, don't know. <laughs> I think it's about right. Seven fifty times four is three thousand. Then you got another seven fifty, so thirty-seven fifty. Yeah, you don't got to pull out no calculator. I got this. <laughs> so thirty-seven fifty, right? So then when you max out, you like, okay, I'm maxed out. Do you got somebody else, like a friend or something, who do hair too? So does she do her own thing, or she like, she do her own thing? So one thing you can do is you can hire and train somebody to do hair too, or you can do like a partnership with her and be like, every person I send you, I make X, Y, Z, or you train somebody else and they do hair for you. So now you can do five hairs a day after you market and you've maxed out. You hire somebody else. Now they can do five hairs a day, five days a week. So they make $37.50. They pay you $17.50 because they're your clients. They make $2,000, right? And then you're like, okay, let me get another person. You train them. Now you got two or three people doing hair under your name, but they're doing the same quality. And now you get to the point where you ain't even doing hair. All you're doing is marketing. Or if they want you to do it, now you charge $1,500 because you the, you the brand. Like, if they, you're like, what's your name? Divine. Divine. So they're like, I got to have Divine do my hair. You go, okay, it's $1,500 a head. Or you can work with somebody on my team. It's $500 based on the brand. <laughs> you know, I work with some of your people now. Uh, mm -hmm. they, they're coaching me on to do more coaching. Mm -hmm. And y'all numbers, man. I mean, you know, I'm going from $75 an hour to, mm -hmm. you know, to $300 of the consultation. So y'all numbers, but the way that they're breaking it down, how it really works, mm -hmm. uh, you know, the people that really need you going to come get you. Absolutely. And, uh, and the people that really need you got the money. 100%. All right, okay. Because think about it, Devon. Don't... Would you agree that people pay $1,500 to get their hair did? Why shouldn't they pay you? Right? So you, so you build it up. So to answer your question, short answer, yeah, yeah, focus on the marketing, building up the brand, doing the hair, getting people to do videos, talking about how well you did. Not only how good you do hair, but how well you take care of them. So if you do the hair, what's the short sale? What you mean? I know y'all use that word a lot, right? Is it short sale or? Upsale. Upsale. What's, okay. What's so, upsale? so it depends, right? So they come to you. You can provide, if you provide hair, because what kind of hair you do? Like natural. like natural hair? So you just do natural hair like, OK, cool. So what products do you provide? What pro products they got to get? Huh? Yeah. So they don't got to like maintain their hair like when they leave you? So they don't got to do nothing? They don't got to put nothing on it when they go to bed at night? Yes, they usually have their own. They use it their own, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they buy it from somebody though, right? Yeah, right? So you can offer that. You'd be like, hey, you're going to need this, too. Or you're going to need this hair to keep it shiny or, or whatever. So, so Marquez, that's what a lot of people are getting stuck at, mainly me, is that I never know that's an option. Mm -hmm. Right? So I always say, OK, I'm just going to put this Jerry curl in it. But I, that's too young. Uh, but I didn't know I could sell the, the, the juice. Sorry. Yep. So and the pit. And the pit. And the hair. And the, and the I learned this, man, from you every time I hear you mm -hmm. talk. Like, just tell me stuff. Think about this. Every solution creates seven problems. Think about it. Wow. Think about it. The iPhone, when he created the iPhone, how many, pro how many problems they create? You got, you got a case, you got a charge. Like the new iPhones, they don't even sell a charger with it. You got to buy the charger with the new iPhone. They don't even sell the charger with it. The old ones you can, but when you go buy the new one, you got to buy a charger. With the box. Like, you see what I'm saying? It don't come with it. So, so now you got to have the earbuds or the AirPods. Wow. You got to get a case. You got to get a screen protector because if you drop it without a screen protector, your screen going to crash. You got to put Apple um, protection on it. What is Apple protection? Like if it breaks, you suppose it's like insurance. So you put that on it. 
Then you got to go get the iPod, iPad. Then you got to go get the MacBook because not everything integrate together. Dad. Then you start, then you download. Dad, do you actually have to buy it? You don't have to, but you're going to buy it because it feels good to just keep buying it and have it all. Right? And then you got the, the then you got the what's the name? Storage. The storage, the iCloud. And then you got the um the Apple Store. You go in there and start buying the apps because they don't really come with all the extra apps on it. Apple Music. Spotify. Spotify. You see what I'm saying? Instagram. Exactly. So y'all get what I'm saying? Every problem, every solution creates seven more problems. Make sense? Mm hmm And then you set and then divine, you set them up on a membership. So you're like, hey, it's And they VIP. Because if you're like, hey, it's normal one fit, then you get on the membership, it's 125. You get your hair done. How, long, how often do they get their hair done? Every week? Yeah, on average, what they do? Two times, Two times a month. So they save 50 a week times 52. So they save $260 a year being on the membership. Wow. They'll jump on that. That's two more hair dues. They save two hundred and sixty dollars. So they save twenty five dollars a week for every what well, fifty dollars a month. One fifty. So the membership is one twenty five. Yeah, that's twenty five dollars less. Correct. <laughs> My mouth tight. <laughs> it, it really is. All right. Any questions? Any more questions? I better ask questions. Any questions? I hear it's come, I hear it bubbling up. How do you feel about uh, going into debt for, for uh, certain investments? Absolutely, I'm with it. Good debt. Good debt. Yeah, think about it. No business, every business you do business with started with debt. Every business you do business with started with debt. We're taught in our community, don't go in debt. Right? So let me give you an example. And this, I'm, use, I'm using these words, but I'm not calling nobody specifically. So you got three mentalities, right? You got poor, men, you got poor people, and this ain't like financially poor, it's just mentally, right? Then you got middle class. What is middle class? I'm gonna explain it. And then you got rich. Poor people, what you think, what you think they think about, what's, what's their mindset around money? They, huh? They, huh? They, huh? They, yep, they wanna, all they wanna do is pay bills. That's just a mentality. What's middle class? What do they want to do? <coughs> Live comfortable. Live comfortable. Live comfortable. Buy stuff. And and pay their pay their cards down. Pay cards. Pay their credit cards down so they can keep their credit tight. Right? And then what you think how you think rich people think about money? Invest huh? it. Invest in themselves, pay their tithes and save it. Pay their tithes. And how do, how do I grow my money? Invest in yourself. Grow money. So they want to grow money, pay bills. They want to hold it a little comfortable, pay the credit cards off. So we're taught you want to get good credit. The other communities, they use debt. Make sense? Like, well, like even with Trump, people was like, oh, he shouldn't be this because he went bankrupt three times. That's what they do. They ain't using nobody else's money. They call it OPM, other people's money. They don't use nobody else's money. McDonald's, they ain't start with their own money. Walmart. Who did they start with? Every, other people's money. They go into debt. Like Sam Walton, he had so much debt when he was starting Walmart, it's crazy. But when he died, he had so much money when it was divvied up between his family, seven of his family members was in the top ten richest people in the world. Who? Sam Walton. He had that much money. Huh? So they, and they still on there. So I think his wife's name was Alice Walton, I think. She died. She died. Uh, his brother, Robert, he was up there. Uh, Robert wife was up there. Right? Like all of them, like he had that much money. Like it was, it was, it was, yeah. He had that much. You know how long Sam Walton did? How long? I don't know. <laughs> that long, though. 
I have no idea. But his family was still up there because he had that much money because he leveraged debt. That's what they do. That's what they taught. That's what they learn. They're like, we leverage debt. Why would we use our own money? Make sense? Cool. What are the questions? Okay, perfect. All right, cool. All right, cool. So I got two special guests for y'all. I think it's gonna be good. It's gonna be. This gonna, I know it's gonna be really good. So first and foremost, I um, I met this young lady last week, and she's we met. I'm like, okay, she's sharp. She's super. Can, can I say something? Yeah, of course you can. All right, thank you. How's everybody doing? I just want to say this real quick, man. Um, thank you. Thank you for what you do, not just for the organization, for the community. Uh, thank you for being you, man. Um, I wanted to still be here today, and I always, I didn't learn nothing today. So the way my life goes, I try to position myself. I've got to learn something new every day. Mm -hmm. So I rushed up here, man. I learned a whole bunch of stuff that I can sell Jerry curls and stuff, and I didn't know I could do that. So I can be Jerry curls. You can. I mean, I, I, I'm sure I'm not the only one in here that feels this way. Um, and if I get one or two other people in here outside of myself, man, just the expression in front of me, uh, what, what, he, what he's done for you, uh, not just your business, but as an individual. If I can get a couple people to help me, a couple young people, not to be MJ, I think he hears it every day for you. Uh, yes, go ahead. Uh, yes. Um. Can you stand up and... and you're trying to make me cry. You're trying to make me cry here or something, yeah? yeah I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, one way is he helped me come out of my shell. Can you just not use your sexy voice and no. pull your mask down a little bit? Thank you. Um, one way is he helped me come from out of my shell. Um, he taught me a lot about reading more. Like before I started going to him, I did not like to read at all. Um, but now I read like How does it help your personal life, like as a, in your personal development, as a person? Um, I feel a lot better. Um, I can do more. I can study. Anybody else? I'm going to shut it down today. We ain't coming back. Go ahead, Vaughn. Uh, uh, my quail, he, uh, he taught me probably more than my teachers ever taught me in like two weeks. Wow. Um, he also wrote me my biggest check that I've ever received in my life uh, and gave me millionaire business plans already <laughs> within like two days. He was text me. <laughs> 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 And it's not so much of the money, because sometimes as men, especially uh, black men, we sometimes get in a very dark place, and we feel like we've been forgotten about, mm -hmm. right? And it takes more than the money to uplift us, but it takes people to know, hey, man, I haven't forgotten about you. And, man, and you've done that, man. You Because you got to understand, I said this before, when you sow into this organization, you change lives across the U.S., all right? <clears throat> We're in nine different states. Okay, right now we're currently working with well over 500 young men. And a lot of that, man, is owed to you for the seeds that you've sown into the organization. I just want to say thank you, brother. Thank you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Thank you, 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 thank you. Huh? I'll be 37 next week. Wow. Yeah, I'll be 37 next wow. Thursday? Next Thursday. Wow. Yeah. What? What you wait for? Wow, I'm getting up there, what you saying? No, man, you look Yeah, yeah, I'll be 37 next week. So, real quick, for those of you who don't know, Gary is the reason we're in here, right? So, Gary, the founder of Next Level Boys Academy has helped divert 800, 900 million years of thousands. thousands. I always be saying million. 800 <laughs> to 900 thousand still significant yeah. years of prison time for young black boys, young brown boys, 
Um, this is what he does. This is what he loves. So when I saw what Gary was doing, I was like, how can I contribute to it? So and this is what this has become. So give Gary a hand for doing this. <laughs> he don't do it for recognition, for money, none of that. He just love our young black boys and young brown boys. So shout out to Gary for being able to do this. So I'm gonna get, I got two people who I want y'all to hear from um, who are absolutely amazing. And I think it's better when y'all hear it from each other than from me because it makes it even more. I hope I make it doable and real as well. But when you can see your own peers, it makes it even more real. So of course, ladies first. I met this young lady last week. Phenomenal, her confidence, how she came and gave me her spiel. And she was telling me what she was going on. I was like, they gotta hear from you next week. So y'all help me come bring some stage, Miss Day. Give her a hand, give her a hand, give her a hand, give her a hand, give her a hand. Give her a hand. Want me, want me to give her mine, bro? Okay, cool. Cool. So she's going to tell y'all what she got going on and all that good stuff, and y'all can ask her some questions as well. Good. Yeah. You need a marker? Okay, no worries. So first off, my name is... And my, my company is Ms. Jai. I'm the CEO and founder of it. I have been practicing arts my whole life. I've done culinary arts, music, dance, fashion design, and literature. I'm an artist, art enthusiast, and a philanthropist. Let me see. The purpose of Ms. Jai is to inspire, empower, and to encourage everybody through art. See, Ms. Jai is not just another art company. Ms. Jai helps to, like I said, empower, inspire, and to encourage everybody through art, and not just to encourage them, but to help them express themselves and to admit to the issues that they attempt to deny that they have. And just because that you're not diagnosed with mental health issues does not mean that you don't need mental health attention. The numbers are, there are more than 700, thousand people who died of suicide every year and for every suicide there are many more suicide attempts to that number <coughs> now a prior suicide attempt is the single most important risk factor of suicides in general and suicide is the fourth leading cause in 14 and 19 year, old, year olds in the country 77 percent of global suicides occur in low income and middle income countries. According to a recent study, African American boys between the ages of 5 and 12 had committed suicide in any other age range. Nationwide suicides among black children are up to 71 percent between under 18 year olds. So I guess that's about like everybody in this room, well majority. According to one CDC report which surveyed adults across the U.S. in the late 20 the late June of 2020 showed that 31% of respondents reported symptoms of anxiety or depression and 13% reported having started or increased substance use or abuse and 26% reported stress-related symptoms and 11% reported having serious thoughts of suicide in the past 30 days. Now, those numbers are expected to double during the pandemic. As prior studies shown, the, stud the survey showed that risk factors for reporting anxiety symptoms or suicide ideation included food insecurity, financial insecurity, and loneliness. However, only one in five children with mental health issues, emotional or behavioral disorders, were receiving mental health from a specialized provider. More than 25 percent of high school students reported worsening emotional and cognitive health and over 20 percent of parents with children ages 5 to 12 reported similar worsening conditions for their children. In addition to loneliness and isolation in the light of public health safety measures, the poor mental health of parents could be a contributing factor in negative mental health concerns for children. So for parents that means that your mental health can impact your children's mental health. Personality disorders, eating disorders, anxiety, depression, hopelessness are all mental health issues that we attempt to deny or avoid in the black community. 
the average person has about 70,000 thoughts per day. And those thoughts are the same day in and day out. Now, y'all may be asking me, if I'm an art company, then why am I talking so much about mental health? Well, a university in London, or let me get the facts for y'all. A university in London showed that when a person sees a piece of art that they see as beautiful, there is an instant release of a chemical called dopamine, which is connected to love to the brain. Creating art helps to provide a distraction, giving your brain a break from those usual negative thoughts. Observing art can stimulate the creation of new neural pathways and also new ways of thinking. Art can also raise serotonin levels. Does anybody know what serotonin levels are? Or what serotonin is? Serotonin is the key hormone for boosting your mood and happiness throughout the day or throughout your life. Now, using innovative creations, beautiful charisma, and talent, Ms. Jai decides, Ms. Jai wants to take art to the next level with mental health. Currently, here are my, a few of my products that I have. Currently, Ms. Jai only offers duplicates of the art created by me. Do they have meaning? Yes, each of them has a meaning. This one is really connected to mental health. This is an image of a young girl, and inside her head are different voices or different... These voices could be that she created inside of her or voices from around her community. Everybody see that? Thank you. This one is the saxophone. This is what I call the saxophone. It's just a person playing the music because music also can stimulate different neural pathways inside your brain and help with your mental health. This is a piece that I call the collab. This was created by me and my brother and basically just showing like a lot of the different things that go inside of your mind on a daily basis. See that? This is a piece that I created. This is like the inside of your mind, the pet that's in your mind, or the animal that we all have inside of us. And there's just so much going on in everybody's mind. Everybody is different. This one is what I call the world today. And this is basically our ancestors looking down on us, questioning, asking, like, what's going on, and just think about how they would feel about what's going on in the crazy world that we live in today. This one is what I call the tree of life that lives inside the mind. Again, this is the center of the mind, and these are the different ideas, different voices that we hear from other people, different things that we create inside of our own brain, and it could either be negative or positive depending on yourself. This is what I call to the moon and back, because you see these are three people. This is a dad and his two daughters, and they're walking to the moon, then they walk back to the day, and it's just a continuous cycle of walking. And this is to represent what happens in our minds. Because in the mind, you hear something, and then you go back to it, or you see something, and then you refer back to it, and it's just a continuous cycle unless you decide to change. This one is a symbolization of siblings. This is the brother and this is the sister. These were created to represent the similarities that siblings have as a whole, but also the differences that they have. This one I created at the peak of 2020. This is a mixed media piece, and this is just showing like different things that I heard people saying, different things that I saw in the news, and just different emotions that I felt. This one is called hunger, which is a, one of the characteristics of myself. And I feel like you need hunger and passion in order to be successful or thrive in the world that we live in today. And the addition to this piece is called passion. And this one is, a, um, this one is the set to 2020, and this one is, was recently created. It's called 2021, some of the things that I hear in today. Now, Ms. Jai is, is expecting a product expansion in the short future, including that would be journals and pen sets, framed artwork, Ms. Jai paintbrushes, Ms. Jai paints, hoodies, art kits to go, and inspirational tote bags.
we will also be experiencing a service expansion, which include paint and sip, paint and sip events, art workshops, therapy sessions, and live painting at events. My target client is the target clients are children. Now, the reason that, that ch children are my at the top of my target clients is because I believe that if you attack mental issues while a child is young, then that means that when they get older that they can help others attack issues that they have and they won't turn and become school shooters. They won't, ha they won't commit suicide. They won't, be abs they won't be substance abusers and a lot of different things that people just turn to. The second target client is African Americans. Now, sometimes when I tell people that African Americans are at the top of my target clients, they ask me why African Americans and why not other races. But as an African American, I believe that a lot of other races are receiving the help that they need. And even if they're not, I believe that if I help raise up my community, that if I help one black person or one black woman in particular, that she can raise a whole village. Now, the third target client for Ms. Jai is anybody with an open mind. In order to receive mental health or to admit that you have a mental health issue, you have to have an open mind towards it. And knowing everything about how art can actually help and benefit your life, anybody who actually enjoys living or wants to live a health healthier or happier life can benefit from Ms. Jai. Anybody got questions? I don't have cards yet. Okay. How much are the pieces? 35 a piece. What's the Instagram? I don't have an Instagram yet. I have a YouTube. Yeah. It's Ms. Jai. And you got cash out? Yes. Tell them your cash out. Yes. Jermaine will win the deal. What is it, Jermaine? U E L W I N D F I E L D. Excellent. Great job. How old are you again? I'm 16. Great job. Excellent. Thank you. I was just going to ask if anybody had any comments, questions, or suggestions for my business. Are you selling those? Yeah, these are for sale. I just want to ask can I book, you know, how can you book? Because um, I wanted to work with you, mm -hmm. and in order to work with you, I would like to have you do the paint and set with the young men that we're working with. Okay. So if I can get information on how to book you. Okay, that's fine. Cool. And you were like positioning it for mm -hmm. like an, an investor pitch, like just if you have an idea of how much all of that your future plans cost, you can begin to start asking for money. Okay, thank you. Give her a hand, give her a hand. Amazing. I got you. I got you. Thank you. Do you do um do you I got you. Do you do um do you do like virtual do you do like virtual art galleries? Not yet. Why not? Well like I said, I'm I plan to experience a product and service expansion in okay. the Okay, cool. Perfect. Okay, cool. So, so if you start, if you decide to do like a weekly virtual art gallery, that'll definitely help because you can do like that same thing you just did and then sh share your um, art and have people cash out. You can start. You can sell out every week. Every and you just do those, and every week they'll get bigger and they'll get bigger and then they'll get bigger and they'll get bigger. Also, have you? Do you? I'm assuming with the sweat. I know. You, I think you mentioned hoodies, right, and shirts. So you're gonna take the art and put it on shirts. Okay, cool. As well as this, because this is my actual logo. Okay. This is a shirt that I printed myself. It's the Ms. Jai logo. Got it. And the Ms. Jai is the back. Perfect. Okay, cool. And my YouTube is Ms. Jai. How you spell that? Capital M I S S J I. Have I got that? Give, give, uh, give Day a hand, please. <laughs> All right, real quick, real quick, before I bring on the next person, real quick. 
Um, what did y'all notice about her business? Just targeting mental health. Targeting mental health. So the problem, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. With confidence. What was the... So how do you make money? Confidence, but how do you make money, though? Even if you don't got confidence. Solving the problem. So solving the problem. What problem is she solving? Mental health. How big of a problem is that? Major. And then what's her solution to the problem? Art. Art. Crazy. Therapy. And then it's something that the kids would love to do. Exactly. And they're being. Bingo. And the, I'm sorry, multiple problems. Exactly. That makes sense? So powerful. All right. Those, um, those, go ahead. The right cash has a business. What is it? It's J E R. J E R. M A I. M A I. N E. N E. Winfield. W I N E. S I E L D. W I N E. D. F I E L D. M I D L D. All right. And you said the pieces are? 35 pieces. 35. All right, cool. And I also sell original pieces, and they're, they, they range from 150 and up. 150 and up. Perfect. When your first, when your, when, when is your first virtual art gallery? Well, knowing that information will probably be in the next few months. Why? March. Weeks or weeks. Like how many weeks? Why not next week? She needs the equipment. Can I do this? <laughs> Can I do this? Thank you. Why not next week? Do you, what, what, what social media platforms are you on? YouTube. You know how to go live on YouTube? Yeah. There you go. That's all you need. You just need to go press go live. Even if just one person show up. Even if nobody don't show up. You got practice. And then next week you do it again. Then next week you do it again. Next week you do it again. Next week you do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Don't even look at how many people showing up, how many people buy. You just keep doing it. And before you know it, you have more pieces. You be selling more pieces than you can produce. So my challenge is to do at least one before our next class. And this, so let me say this. Next week we won't have class. It's my birthday next week, so I don't really know what's going on yet. So. <laughs> I don't want y'all to just be here and I don't show up. So next week we won't have class. We'll be back the following week. All right? So that's my challenge. I want to hear about it. And then let me know. If you're going to do a flyer or whatever, whatever you're going to do, let me know and I'll help promote it. And then we'll drive everybody to your art gallery. Well, one thing I do on the campus, I will be attending a um, children's business fair mm -hmm. at the end of the month. If anybody wants information. Yeah, absolutely. We definitely want information. Absolutely. Cool. Give J um, Day a hand one more time, please. <laughs> Excellent. Next up is the Flyers. Young brother, I know. Flyers. He's a Flyer. I was going to say, you the second Flyers, bro. You the second Flyers. So, so one of the many reasons I love this brother, he just, he just makes stuff happen. He don't do a whole lot of talking. He just, like, makes things happen. Big things happen. So I had to get him to come share with y'all the game because like he launched his brand well he'll tell y'all but it seemed like a very short period of time and like it just like took off and he's just consistent 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 so y'all help me welcome to the stage the dope man Jari hoodies and shirts made by my uncle Maurice at the time but initially we started in 2016 with Dope Man, just before we were selling anything. We started in 2016 with getting hooked made in South Lake Mall. Getting hooked in South Lake Mall, not selling anything. I was going to school and out here, like, senior, because I played football. Out here, senior telling me, ain't no recruiter gonna recruit you, which you got, you know, you got Dope Man on your shirt. And I was like, if the recruiter knew dope, what Dope Man meant, he'd be the first one to recruit me. Right. So, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, fast forward to 2019, yeah, we started selling hoodies. And, we, we ran into some more friends because, like Marquette always say, you bless the relationship. All my supporters come from them, my, my mom and my dad, even him. Without without them, I wouldn't have Marquette. Marquette taught me a lot of stuff about my business, what took my business to the next level. We started selling shirts and hoodies. We just, um, basically, 
you know, it's made, we're not making very much profit. We, we run to some people named Sanchez and Mia. They telling me, search easy and make you do it on your own. Fast forward, I learned from my mom and friend April, another, a relationship I'm blessed through. I learned how to make shirts with a cricket machine and a heat press. I started printing shirts on my own. March 11, 2020, I started my own business. That's the day my great grandma passed away. So um, I started my business. I'm doing search for baby showers. I even do banners. I'm doing search for baby showers, birthday parties. I'm doing all my mom's search for her business. I'm doing our search, selling them. But at this point, my shirt's not really selling real good. Like I'm doing, I'm making my money most off custom design. My shirt's not really selling. Fast forward to 2021. I take a how to build a clothing brand class with Dante's Akron. So he basically inspired me to outsource. Cause like like what was that dope man comfort in the markets? Rosier talked about why you could pay somebody to do something. So now I pay people to make suits like this instead of me having to do it with save me time. And which time is the most important thing you need. It saves me time. And now and it's really cheaper when you think about it. Because time is worth way more than money. Yeah. It's, I, I could be I can a piece of vinyl, I would make sure it's vinyl. A piece of vinyl is like four dollars a sheet. So if I'm making a hundred of these, that's like four hundred dollars plus the time I'm spending, which take it take about six hours to do a hundred of them, just for me, because I only have one heat first. So um, basically, now, well, that, was, that was in July 2021, I was like, I'm tired of being where I am. Like, I was stuck in a place, like, and I'd be in my room just praying to God, like, what can I do to take my business to the next level? And he would give me ideas, and, I, and he told me, God told me to take that to the African class, and he, he's somebody near my age. He, he inspired me big time to start outsourcing, and that's when I started. As I took his class, I ordered a sample from Alibaba for my first track suit. I got my tracksuit in. I liked the way it was. I started. I offered pre-orders for tracksuits. Tracksuit was doing good, and now like I look back and I realize like if if I didn't know Marquel and my parents, I wouldn't be where I am today. Like relationships is everything. So basically, if like right here, you got to tap into creativity when you're doing your business. Because if no matter who you are, everybody has creativity. God created us. Cause he's a creator, mm -hmm. so he, so it's all. Everybody has that creativity. You just have to tap into it. Good. And also, the importance. I want to talk to you about importance of giving. Giving is major, but giving is a good ground. You don't have someone into a bad ground, and you're not reading the harvest. For example, I, I tie every Sunday, and literally at the church, I'm selling three tracksuits. I want people from other countries to have my clothing brand on, and I want to know what it means. It's all about the, I could care less about whoever want to buy it if they don't buy it to the meaning. There's no point. I want you to everybody know they dominate on purpose every day. That's the whole purpose. Do anybody in here have a clothing brand? What, what do y'all have a website? You got a shop What? What apps do you have in your software? I don't know. I can give you some apps you download. Apps, is your, on, apps on Shopify. Is your Shopify automated? What do you mean by automated? Like, do you have emails going out and text messages going out to people who subscribe to your list? No. I can get, I can teach you how to do that. You want to know how to do it? Yeah. I, I, I'm going to teach you how to do it. You can talk to it. What about you? What? And do you sell just t-shirts? Yeah, I don't have a t-shirt right now. I'm, I'm about to do I'm in the process of getting some business. Do you do you make them on your own? From wait from here, Marquette. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Mine was a good starter, but Jari got plugged. When you what what's the tag in your shirts? It's a it's a next level. You don't want that. You want your brand to be in your tag. So when you go go on go on Alibaba, all the vendors. And ask them for samples. They seen like this right here. This is a sample I just got literally yesterday. And I said, I like I'm wearing it. And these gonna drop later on this month. Find find you a good vendor that you can trust, but I always have a backup vendor. Find you a good vendor to ask them how much they charge. I always talk down the price. Don't ever pay what they first take. I always talk down your prices and cause they they need you. 
Trust me, no matter, like, they need your service. So you negotiate your prices with them, pay for a sample, and then you in business. And what do you do? You, you do the same thing? Why? Y'all don't have, like, suits? No, I Why not? I ain't got no type of suits. Y'all don't want suits? I do, but I ain't got the, I ain't necessarily got the funds on it. Okay. What that mean? I'm trying to get, trying to get that. You pre-order. Like, you pre-order. Yeah. Like, look. Another, like, what like he said, a problem. Shirts was, like, confidence, that's a, that's, some, that's a problem you saw when you were selling clothes. So, me selling shirts, now people ask me, do you got shorts to go with it? That's not another problem. You charge people more for that. Or if they, you got a hoodie, get some jogging suits, you charge people more for that. Do you know how to do mock-ups? I can, I can get somebody to do mock-ups. Yeah. Who else you said you got a clothing brand? What's your clothing brand? What's the mean note? Young Black King. Okay, and have you sold shirts yet? Okay, um, so everybody, well, y'all get y'all shirt screen printed? Huh? They get y'all shirt screen printed? Uh, no, really vinyl. Vinyl? Uh, okay. What, um, how much you charge your shirt? Uh, for, uh, Uber, it's gonna be, uh, 150 And how much it cost you to make them? So it takes 10, 15, you sell them 25. So you could you could go on Alibaba, get make, have somebody do everything, seven dollars, custom tag, custom neck label, embroidered shirt, seven dollars. And now you make an eighteen dollar profit instead of a ten dollar, fifteen dollar profit. Yeah. yeah, it sounds better, don't it? Yeah. And who and what what's your club brand mean? It's it's the country, the, the brand called Go Get it. It's just like based off mentality, like Whatever you, if you want something to happen, you're going to strive for it. You're going to strive for achievement. And yeah, and what about yours? Alfano. And what does that, what it mean? Alfano is young girls and boys, confidence, etc. Okay, and are y'all on Instagram? Yeah. Do y'all promote it? Yeah. Uh, not, I, I try, I'm in the process of getting back on, on the promotion scale. And you have Shopify? Yeah. You need to get a Shopify store. That's the best clothing site by far. Like, Wicks and all that's that's nice, but Shopify best hands down. All good. Yeah, Ain't that sound good? Uh, all right, yeah. Good. Yeah. I want to say, and then I appreciate you for real for allowing me to do this. Of course, bro. Yeah. Of course. Y'all got questions? Anybody got questions? I just feel so crazy because. So if you need some shirts, man, I still can do it. I don't, I don't really promote it like that, but I don't turn down money.
Uh, you can contact me on dopeman.gear on Instagram. Yeah, you can click the link in my bio and make purchases. Yeah, click the link in bio. Yeah. I have a question. Are you looking? Like, do you think that you'll ever do collab with like-minded people in the future? Uh, probably so. I, when I get it all together, cause I'm still I'm still figuring out some stuff too along the way. So yeah, I'm uh, um, eventually I will. Look, it's like you don't know. So you just ask them for samples you, and then yeah. send the sample. Yeah. Like, you like, the like, I'm the only person I ever know hit on every sample. <laughs> like, er everybody else I hear from, they be like, man, I ain't, this sample one good. Some people get scammed. Yeah. <laughs> but I say when you pay for samples, you PayPal. And then when you start ordering from, but most vendors, when you, when you buy from them, after you pay for the sample, they'll give you that price back when you order both. But don't pay over, I would say, like, it depends what you order. Don't pay over, like, $70 for no sample. 70 Yeah, don't pay over $70 for no sample. So it's a gamble. Yeah. Risk. But you said do it through PayPal. Cause if, if yeah, you, you can get your money back. You get your money back. But oh, if you're doing it through Western yeah. Union, you ain't really going to get your money back. Yeah. Yeah. I have a question. Yeah. When you talked about going globally, how do you plan to do that? Uh, basically, um, just... Mark, keep marketing, keep marketing, pushing the brand, pushing the purpose of the brand, and that's how I'm, I'm, I'm making go. And of course, giving and praying, and then that's how I'm making go. What's your biggest strategy for like word of mouth marketing? Biggest, um, well, I just I really like I ask people after they um, buy it to post it, and then that's how I get out. Or like, and then like Marquez said earlier, excellent. Like Marquez was at church one day. I told him I got some hats and truck truck suit. He came and bought some. Like, ask people. Like, I had, I definitely had to get out of that because I don't talk much. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, so I had, when I realized, like, you ask, because you ask people, they buy it. Like, if they don't know you sell it, if you don't tell them. Right. So, yeah, I had to get out of that now because you got to make some money. Can't, yeah. If you can't make money with your mouth closed. Worst thing they can say is what? No, no. right. I've been hearing, you hear no all the time. It, right. Man, I just be praying, and God just put something on my heart. Like, like even with this, like putting the, cause you know some people you run, some people like go to school and they have dope man on. Now for the vest suit, I got the meaning on the sleeve, meaning on the pants. So yeah, I just, God just be telling me certain stuff. I get y'all real hand. Yeah. Right. I got a couple questions. We got food and all that. We got food. Like a little spread out there for the birthday situation. Right? So I'm going to let y'all go before it get cold um, so y'all can eat up. So who remembers the black entrepreneurship history from last week? Perfect. Who did it? Who looked it up? Huh? You did it, bro? Who, who, go ahead. Give us a rundown. Hold on, hold on, y'all. What was his name? I asked, so, I asked, so hold on. I asked y'all to look up who? The richest black man. The richest black man in the world right now. And who was his name? Yeah, he got a crate. Yeah, he got an interesting name. Dan Goat. What? 13 billion? What, what you learned about him? Mm-hmm. Y'all know, you guess where he live at? Mm-mm. Mm -mm. He live in Atlanta? Yeah. You already knew that, huh? No, I guess. Yeah, he live in Atlanta. He is African. But he live in Atlanta. What's his name again? What's his name again? Dan, yeah, Dan Gote. Yeah, he got a book. He got a book, too. It's a real, it's a, it's a real short read. I don't, don't give me the line, bro. Yeah, Google it. I forget the name of it, though. It's like, it's, I don't know, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. 
<laughs> but yeah, go get it. It's, it's a real short read. It's about that thick. Probably read it in one sitting. All right. So that was last week. Give, give my brother a hand. Give everybody a hand for licking up. Did, uh, Derek, did you, le- did you learn something different about him that he didn't say? Did you learn something different about him? Dave, what you got? I love it. 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 Give me a hand. We can clap for that. We can clap for that. Started with selling candy at school. Richest black man in the world right now. You got some different problems you want to add? You good? You got it? Okay, cool. All right. So this week, I'm going to give y'all. Now, let me see. I told y'all next week we won't have class, but I'm going to still send y'all the assignment through email. So make sure y'all on the list. So biz. Biz success made simple.com. If y'all that's it's the same where y'all go register for the class. If you ain't register for the class, just go there, biz success made simple.com. B I Z success made simple.com. That way you're on the email list because I'm gonna email y'all the assignment for next week because we're gonna be here live and then we'll be back live the following week. Make sense? All right, so the homework black entrepreneurship history is David Stewart. S S T S T E W. A R D, S T E W, A R D, A R D. Everybody got it? All right, cool. Any questions before y'all go eat? Any questions? Anybody got questions? Did anybody get value from today? Y'all, did y'all, did y'all enjoy today? Perfect, perfect. Give yourselves a hand for being here. Look, y'all. My only ask is this. Look, I appreciate everybody standing up saying how how what I've done for your life. Grateful for that. But how many of y'all know I ain't here for that? Straight up. I ain't, y'all already know. I ain't here for that. I'm here for y'all. I'm here for y'all to take this stuff and go do something with it. Make sense? My, my goal is to give y'all an advantage out here. Tap into your genius. Like, they sit up here and look, she like, she like, okay, I saw this thing. Boom. So I started creating art. And now I'm finna change millions of people's lives through my gift of art. Promise, inspiring women, fun. Just, like, this is what this is about. So I appreciate it. I don't need no credit. Like, I appreciate it, don't get me wrong, but like, I do this every week for y'all. Please, don't go home, don't come in here, take a whole bunch of notes, and just sit on these notes. Go home and do something with it, anything. I'm telling you, and just a little bit every week. It ain't about going to do a whole lot, but just do a little bit. Cause like, you look up like, cause you never looked him up, you ain't never know who he was, right? That'll take you down a whole rabbit hole. Now you like, dang, this dude this is my, selling candy at school? Who is this dude? Dig with a book. Let me watch some YouTube. You're like, okay, I'm reading my thing. Cool, let me look up some YouTube videos. Now that leads you to another big black billionaire who started off with nothing. Now that leads you to a woman billionaire who started off with nothing. Now you're like, dang, our whole lineage is from wealth. Because they teach us that our lineage started with black, like slavery. It don't. All of our people are wealthy, kings, queens, royalty. And so that's, that means y'all are kings, queens, and royalty because that's your DNA. That's your lineage. You know what I'm saying? Don't ever let nobody tell y'all nothing different. So tap into it. Use this stuff. Like what I'm teaching y'all, education basically means pulling something out of you. So I ain't like giving you something that you already got. You already got it. I'm just helping you pull it out so you can implement it. Does it make sense? But it's up to y'all to do something with it. So, but one thing I do know, once you come into this class at least one time, you will never have an excuse ever again in your life of why you can't have whatever you want to have, even if you just come one time. Does that make sense? So that's my goal. Please do something with it, and I want to continue to see y'all's story, see you on TV, whatever your dreams are, and of course, on the plug, right? So whatever connections you need, whatever you need, like, reach out, ask questions. I'm here. Don't sit in here and be silent. Like, at school, people don't want to raise their hand. People don't want to be engaged because you think people going to laugh, people going to judge you. This ain't that environment. We all here to learn. We all here to grow. The worst thing you can do is come in here with a question and then leave with the question and don't ask the question. Does that make sense? I get paid a whole lot of money to do this in the real, like not in the real world, but like professionally. But this ain't about no money. This ain't no money play for me, right? This is to help y'all win. You don't never owe me nothing but to go execute it and create whatever it is you want. Does that make sense? I had one thing to say for the whole month of October. I'm taking a break from my art YouTube as a tribute to the domestic violence for domestic violence awareness month. 
So I'm on TikTok at Purple Days 05, and I'm posting inspirational videos and quotes for women to empower them. Not even women, just people who need inspiration because a whole lot of us women. Perfect. D A Z E. D A Y S. Y S. O five. O five. <laughs> Miss T, hey Miss TK, solid man. Y'all gotta be locked in, Miss TK. Miss TK, solid. One hundred percent. Absolutely. And my, my goal is to, one thing about it is, it, we, it takes a, a village. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And I just love the village, the relationship that I have built to be able to assist other um, individuals. So, again, I like to see the smiles because hopefully you all are going to be successful and that'll one day bring my son home. Absolutely. <laughs> Got it. Perfect. Everybody good? All right, cool. Again, give yourselves a hand for being here. Look, go out here, get you some food, some pizzas, all kind of stuff out like there. Eat it up. And um, yeah, we love y'all. We love y'all. We love y'all. Oh, uh, and by the way, Cash Out Next Level Boys Academy. Cash Out Next Level Boys Academy. Gary do this thing for free, serving our young black, brown boys. Please sow into it. It's good ground.